film buddies i wanted to take a look at the song in heaven from the great film eraserhead my friend mike does a film podcast called the evolution of horror it's a great podcast definitely check it out and he was talking about this film and mentioned this song which got me thinking about what makes this song really haunting and it feels very lynchian now apparently that's now a word in the dictionary i found that out from the podcast okay so the song itself in repeat okay love that song okay so nice and haunting and it starts we're in the key of a minor now i've transposed this down from the original which is in b flat minor so i've taken it down just by one one semitone just so it's easier to describe so i'm not talking about all sharps and flats in the key of a natural minor i've got all the white keys so it just makes it easier to talk about this okay so i'm going okay first bit of the song nice simple melody we've got a root to fifth one two three four five okay so we've got a to e over a, a minor chord everything nice sweet harmonious fits perfectly okay then we get a little bit of dissonance where we go we're going Well, that's nice. So we've got a D minor chord. So the, the notes in the D minor chord are D, F, and A. Okay, but the melody is playing an E outside of the chord. It's between these two notes. So these notes here, D and F, are in the are in the chord. Thing is, that's the note that's been sung. Now the biggest dissonance in music is two notes right next to each other, a semitone apart. And that's what you've got here, the chord, the chord and the note. So we've got a nice bit of, it's nice and harmonious, then we've got some tension, and then we've got some release, because the gears. Ah, oh, that's nice and sweet, we're back to a C over an F chord, and the C is in the chord of F, so everything's back to being lovely again, that's great. And then that repeats, and then it, uh, so three times, a third time, instead of going, yeah, yeah, it just got so I'm essentially playing the same from the same scale but instead of coming we're going up but it's all kind of same all feels the same okay and then we go into so we're playing a G over E minor okay nice dark minor chord but still in the scale and we're still playing a note from the chord over the chord okay and then we go to an F chord again nice and sweet two notes from the chord in the melody A and C over an F F A and C is the chord so and then this is my favorite bit where you get a nice kind of surprise Okay, so now we're going out of the scale. The scale would be, but now we've got this nice dark note. Um, it's an, a flattened fifth, often referred to as a blue note in the blue scale, okay? So, yeah, so go. And it's played, uh, you could play it, you know, over an F7 chord be a bit more jazzy bluesy but or an e-flat chord but it's actually played over an e-flat minor which is even darker okay so this you hit this note and all the harmony there is outside of the scale okay we've got an e-flat g-flat and a b-flat there 
none of those notes are in the key of A minor. So we're taken out. Suddenly, we've been in A minor all along. And then we're outside. Okay, it goes dark. And then... And then we got... Um, but then we're back to a nice C major chord. It's all sweetness and light again. And then we've got this nice little bit in the bass. Okay. And interestingly, in the bass, um, we've got this. These notes. These notes here. F, G flat, G, A, B flat, B, C, B flat, A, G. And it's always nice with films to find a little reference, like one film that references another. I'm sure this is quite unintentional, but there's a little Twin Peaks reference here if you want to join the dots. And so I'm just going to change sound. I've swapped the sound for an upright bass sound. Familiar there from Twin Peaks, but that section that's our notes from that little bass run on the organ in in heaven so it's also same notes there, so a little motif there, which probably was never intentional. Just nice to see those little, little, little notes and think, actually, that little sequence of notes crops up both in Eraserhead and in Twin Peaks. Okay, so just a little breakdown, just thought it was interesting, or oh, a great song, and, and why certain like notes or changes or chord changes just work well to create a mood and an atmosphere in film. So um, anyway, Thanks for watching and uh, go and check out the film and check out the podcast. Cheers.